Okay, 2019, November 9th. I'm um, just leaving the driveway as we speak. Just wanted to kind of uh, chronicle everything that's uh, or will be going on on this trip. Uh, as most of you know, this is my bucket list trip. And I will be driving 10 hours today and another 8 hours tomorrow on Sunday to get to camp. So I'll check in periodically. Um, hopefully I can find Mr. Biggie up in Canada. I can't seem to find him anywhere else, so I'll have to go to Canada. Check in later. Bye. Well, about halfway through uh, driving for today, five hours in. It's gone pretty fast, actually. Um, not sure where exactly. I'm in Minnesota here, but uh, I'm getting close to uh, Moorhead. Moorhead, Minnesota. I believe people could use Moorhead, Minnesota. But, uh, oh, we got a cop up here. Uh, I wonder if he's going to Moorhead. Because uh, if he was going to Moorhead, um, ah, look at there. There's a truck that passed me going 100 miles an hour. But, uh, yeah, I'm um, just checking in halfway through. Be uh, coming up on Moorhead pretty soon. And uh, I've been seeing a lot of deer hunters. Uh, today is actually the the opener of deer season, gun deer season. In fact, there's some up there right now. Uh, gun deer season for Minnesota, where I would typically, I would be uh, up in Grand Marais this weekend. But obviously I'm not, I'm headed to Canada. And uh, Moorhead, Minnesota. But uh, anyways, uh, good luck to everybody. I will uh, check in with you guys later. Later, Moorhead, Minnesota. Well, I'm in North Dakota and I have freezing rain. So, uh, Looks like I have about three and a half hours to my destination of Minot. Why not go to Minot, North Dakota? I wonder if that's what their slogan is. Why not go to Minot? I just stopped at Moorhead. Got some gas. Um... So yeah, that's the update right now. Uh, driving in freezing rain, it is 30 degrees. We've got ice more forming on the windshield. So I'm gonna take my time. Um, that's all I got. Check in later. And why not? Why not? Well, my first leg of the trip is finally done. Um, Took almost exactly 10 hours to get here. Um, so I check into my room and not sure why I booked something with a kitchen. I don't know if somebody's gonna cook for me or, or what the deal is. And then they walk in to my bedroom And yeah, so whatever, I'm just going to be sleeping for a few hours and I'm getting back on the road about three o'clock in the morning. Hopefully you get across the Canadian border just fine and I will check in later. Uh, good morning. It is just after three o'clock. I'm on my way to the border. Hopefully I get across. Hopefully they don't find out about my shady past and I'm arrested and finally put in prison for all the things I did as a teenager. Who knows? Anyways, uh, on my last, well, second to the last leg, I gotta meet, meet up with the outfitter and the other two hunters. Um, at Walmart, gonna meet up at Walmart in Saskatoon. Saskatoon, going up to Saskatoon. 
Uh, anyways, I will check in with you guys later. Bye. Well, uh, it's about four. I don't even know what time it is. But uh, I did make it through the Canadian border. It was nerve wracking. But uh, first time ever crossing the border. But I'm okay. Uh, I had to pay a $25 Canadian uh, fee for uh, carrying a firearm across the border. But other than that, pretty much uh, no issues whatsoever. So uh, now I got uh, got about four hours uh, up to Saskatoon, and I'll be meeting at Walmart with the guys. So I'll check in in Saskatoon. Bye. I just wanted to say real quick that I just realized right now that this is the first time in my life I've ever been to a different country, ever, and in my, I already feel out of place, um, speed limit signs, I, I don't even know how fast I'm supposed to be going or not be going, um, everything's in kilometers, my uh, GPS told me kilometers, I don't know what the hell that is, but uh, eventually I'll get to where I need to be, hopefully. And I have not seen any gas stations, uh, nothing. And I don't, I guess, we'll find out when I get there, later. Alright, it's almost 10 o'clock, I'm almost to Saskatoon. Uh, changing plans, those guys wanted to uh, shop at Walmart, and I guess they're done already. So uh, I'll be meeting them at a gas station. So I can fill up and then uh, we'll head up to camp which is another hour and a half I believe a um, couple cool things on this trip so far uh, since I've been in Canada I've seen a couple coyotes or wolves I'm not sure it was dark um, I did see a fox I did see a mule deer cross the road in front of me it was a, a doe I've never seen a mule deer before it was pretty cool dead look like probably a 10 point buck whitetail huge nice really nice rack um, so and I believe a moose carcass was in the ditch as well so, so far so cool um, just now starting to finally see some trees I've been uh, pretty much ever since I got through the cities of Minnesota yesterday it's been nothing but fields Fields, fields, fields. So I'll be uh, looking forward to getting into some trees. I'm assuming once we get north of Saskatoon, then uh, that's where the trees will be, forests and whatnot. Um, so looking at a map, looks like I will be hunting the uh, Prince Albert Forest. Prince Albert Forest. Um, yeah, don't ask me either. Anyways, I will ch try to check in later. Um, we'll see what we're going to be doing once once we get settled at camp. Uh, hopefully uh, shoot some guns. Uh, definitely want to make sure I'm still zeroed in after this trip. So, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Alright, 1 o'clock. We... Um, Stopped and had lunch just now here in, um, oh crap, I can't even remember where we're at now. Gleason, Gleason, Saskatchewan. Um, and apparently we have another two hours we gotta go to the cabin. So it's gonna be quite the trip. Uh, what's, we did talk, we're gonna uh, get to camp and we are gonna shoot guns just to make sure the three of us are uh, all on target. The other two guys, sounds like they, uh, a couple older guys, one's from Florida, one's from New York. They're buddies, they come up every year uh, to Saskatchewan. They've gone through different outfitters and whatnot, but they, they're going to try to give me some pointers until they realize that I'm no dummy when it comes to deer, so they uh, didn't really have a whole lot for me. Um, did make it sound fairly easy, so I guess... Hopefully they didn't jinx it because I uh, want to have a good hunt regardless. 
But, uh, so yeah, another two hours, we'll get to the cabin, and we'll go from there. Later. Yes, I also needed to add, um, I just topped off with gas in Gleason at a full service gas station. Seriously, full service. Dead serious. I got out to pump gas and a girl comes running out and uh, I kind of kind of gave her a weird look and she gave me a weird look and and then I saw the sign. I'm like, oh, cool. I'll meet you inside. But that, I thought it was cool. Anyways, bye. Well, here I am out on a boat pier, canoe pier, whatever it might be, kind of pier. But uh, there's a there's a cabin up behind me through the trees there. So we have a bunk house. It's got four rooms. Each has a bunk um, with a wood stove, refrigerator, a table, and then there's the main. Um, cabin where they're gonna be doing the cooking. Sorry about that. Be doing the cooking and stuff for us. Uh, just an unbelievable experience right now. Um, on the way in, uh, well, we drove an hour, I believe, up through the bush, basically on logging trails, not even real roads. And then we parked. And then we. Uh, rode back in three and a half miles on a four-wheeler to get to the cabin um, so there is no no car traffic uh, lots of deer tracks lots of deer tracks and we did see a bunch of wolf tracks coming in as well so um, definitely excited to see what tomorrow and the rest of the week brings but uh, definitely definitely worth it sitting all day um, so far so good I made, I'm so glad I made this trip it long a lot of driving man a lot of driving but uh I think it's getting close to dark I think uh, supper's coming soon so um, hopefully tomorrow I can post a video or pictures of uh, mr. biggie uh, the rut is on up here so we'll see what happens later
small one sitting here about 20 yards away, literally standing there. They don't care that I'm here either. They don't care that the uh, foot roller came in here and didn't affect them one bit. This one keeps looking off in the brush, so let's see what happens. Well, 10.30, I have a baby D. This dude walked right down the trail to the blind, stopped, looked at me, and I'm going to say probably four feet away. I knew he was big. I watched him. I was regretting not getting to be, be able to get a shot at him. Um... He kind of worked his way off, and then I looked where he had come from, and I saw a doe running, and then I saw a buck chasing her. I'm like, oh, there's another buck. I have seen five, six different bucks already today. They've been just kind of that scent check and the, the does that have come out. I've had deer on that bay pile the entire time I've sat down. There's been deer all over. The bucks kept coming in. They kept getting bigger and bigger. And this dude came in. Anyways, he went around and he went over to the bay pile. I was able, I'm like, I made a decision. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take him. I uh, said, if he gives me a shot, he's going, I'm taking a shot. He turned broadside and stood on that bait pile, and I pulled the trigger. He hunched up and took a few feet and fell over. So I'm gonna I'm gonna videotape uh, walking up to him so you can see same time as I did how nice he is. Uh, big body. I know he had a big body. Nice tall, tight rack. I don't even know how many points. Um, I'm guessing 10. Um, let's go find out. Well, I forgot to videotape walking up to him. I was too excited. Um, big body. Big body. Uh, rack is pretty nice. Um, nice long tines. Um, tight rack. Uh, a nine point with the ninth point being kind of busted off. Um, I'm happy. I'm super happy with that deer. Um, I don't know if there's bigger deer in here or not. I have no idea. Um, I know it's supposed to warm up next couple days, so I know the deer action will probably slow down. So, I'm back in blind, and I have to check in at noon on the radio, so I'll let whoever know at that point. Um, but I don't, I don't mind sitting here the rest of the day just to see, uh, what comes in. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully not something bigger, but, um, I'm still, still very happy with, with that buck um i'll post pictures soon i have no service whatsoever here so i will see what i can do um i'm interested to see what he weighs i don't know if he's got a scale or not but it's it's well over 200 pounds it's a big body deer hi right, later
Come here. All right, I uh, just wanted to say that I'm on my way home. I'm on my last leg. Um, I think it's around 12 o'clock right now. I'll be home by probably seven or eight o'clock, probably eight o'clock. Um, but yeah, just, uh, I had a freaking blast on my hunt. Even though I tagged out right away the first day, um, kinda wish I would've waited. Did see some bigger bucks at other sites um, as I rode around with the outfitter to uh, take the other guys out to their stands. Uh, they wanted to videotape deer as well. Um, but take them out to their stands and help bait the other sites. Uh, for a couple days we, we rode around and did that. Just got to see got to see a bunch of stuff, um, a bunch of the uh, woods, a bunch of the woods that he has that he uh, outfits for. Uh, just some great, great, great um, action. I mean, there were deer from all over the place. Bucks are running stupid right now. Um, I had a, a really nice shooter come within a, a few yards yesterday, right after uh, we dropped a hunter off to a site to, for him to videotape. Um, there was a hot doe and he was, he was on her, would not, would not let her go at all. She was, she was headed to the bait pile and uh, she was right by us, which uh, brought him right by us. I just sat there and watched him for a bit. Same thing day before, I went to a, a different site, baited the site. Those walked past us to get to the bait that we just uh, freshened up. And um, there's a buck that came in within a few minutes, and he was a really nice buck. So uh, I, I guess I'm not really doing a commercial for this outfitter, but um, the two hunters that were there with me, they uh, have hunted Saskatchewan hunts for 13 years. I believe this will be the 13th or 14th year uh, doing this. Uh, it's a pretty cool story, those guys. Um, They've been hunting together since 13, 14 years old. Um, and they're in their 70s now. And they they go on these hunts all the time, I guess. One lives in Florida, one lives in New Jersey. Um, yeah, it's, it was pretty, they, they gave me a lot of uh, a lot of good advice to hunt, to hunt the bush, they call it, I guess. Um, but I couldn't have asked for better camp meets. Those guys were awesome. Those guys helped out a lot. Uh, gave me a lot of good information, a lot of good advice. Uh, my only regret the whole time was that I tagged out so early and I could have waited. I should have waited. Uh, not saying I'm unhappy about my deer. My, it was a huge body deer, which, which goes a long ways in my book. Um, but this, this outfit or this Spirit Wood Alfred, he's, I'm telling you, next couple years, he's going to have some giants, and uh, already seeing, already seeing the, the, uh, the work that's been put in to get those, those big bucks, but um, I'm already, I already told, to pencil me in for next year, I am coming back, so uh, I could not have asked for a better time, a better hunt, Everything was exactly as I hoped for. Um, yeah, other than that, um, like I guess I have a few hours from home, so maybe I'll post post these videos for you guys to see. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm just making videos, trying to chronicle uh, my my bucket list hunt that looks like it's probably going to turn into an annual hunt if uh, if God forbid. I can still uh, manage to do it, so we'll see what happens.
I am already looking forward to next year. I'm off this week. Next week is a week before our gun season in Wisconsin, so I will be prepping for that. And I don't know, we'll see what happens there, I guess. But uh, on a scale of 1 to 10 on this hunt, it was a 15. I'm not even exaggerating. It was an awesome, awesome experience. All right. Um, that's all I got.